So this is uh, the other semifinal match um, between Michael Simpson and Rubens Campana. And uh, they are in game one right now. Um, it looks like their life totals are still pretty high, 17-17. Uh, are they pausing for us right now? No. Okay. I think. So this looks like they're in the middle of a complicated-ish battle, although I get it looks like Michael Simpson is pretty far ahead at this point. He has a, a whole boatload of permanents in play <laughs> and an IC. So we're still, I think we're live right now still, right? Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, we're moving on to the other semifinal. Michael Simpson on shops, a very textbook yes. shops, not like no alio piles like Brian Urbano played. The only thing that's yeah. maybe, you know, that's slightly interesting is his second main deck winter orb. Other than that, it's, you know, shops yeah, is, is pretty stock, right? The first 57 cards pretty much play themselves. And Rubens we saw on camera yesterday. It's a it's a black based Top mid range system. deck, a, similar to Ben Katz's, but like less gimmicky you know like no sinkholes he's not messing around he's playing the main deck bolts main deck sedrals main deck specters no nevin Rouse discs this is just literally a pile of good cards gonna... very little synergy unlike what ben katz is doing issuing some some power in a vacuum to maybe build some synergies gonna... into his deck rubens is just doesn't give a fuck all in playing all the best car all the best grixis or uh not grixis what the hell are you i will mardu i guess so yeah. use a modern word all the best mardu cards <laughs> my fucking ancestral obviously uh -huh. mardu is one of those color combinations that i actually like the um the cons of tarkir okay. term for it and because there wasn't so a good name that for that good. one before yeah yeah um, so like like bug and rug like those are those are better names right so we just keep there. those um but and like, junk, I like junk for whatever. There's there's a word for junk. I don't know what that is, but it's always going to be junk. Abzan or something, but, oh, but junk yeah. is way better. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Bug, rug, and junk were like good single syllable uh, words see, that yeah. are perfectly useful. Yeah. But we didn't like, there was no Not good word for Mar uh, Mardu. Yeah. And there, I don't know. And blue, white, red, like I, Jeskai is fine, I guess. Um, I don't hate that one either. Um, but, you know, some people call that like patriot or American or like whatever i don't know for some reason i don't really have a problem with jund even though maybe it's because it's older and it's from like, oh, i like all the shard names the shard, yeah, those are older fine because they're like old schoolish and they're not like they're not what these new young arena kids are, are, are calling their decks like they, they actually came out 10 years ago more of the shard names are one syllable also they're just yes. better to say right jund bent um right. Like Absan, Absan. I don't even know how to say it. I don't know how yeah. to spell it. You got H in there. Like it's it's really really bad. Just say junk. Yeah, for sure. Exactly. So I don't know exactly where. What, wait, Dave. What is this? Is this game two? Seven nine. This is game one. Oh, is it still game one? Oh wow. So really, just Paul. That Paul got run over. Game. He kept a couple of bad ones, one and Ben Katz had it all over there, so it didn't. It yeah, didn't Paul matter. got run over pretty quickly. They also the Paul and Ben started I a little bit earlier than these guys, because yeah. um, Rubens and Will um, went to game three. That that was a heartbreaker. The end of that match. Yeah, there um, was one. Will had to the, was on the play the and had to mold a three, um, and uh, it, it, I mean, really fought the good fight for a while. Pretty impressive what he was able to do on just three yeah, cards. But, all... Yeah. But ultimately, Rubens like found library and just like just you know just crushed him with cards um, over time. So I've seen I've seen now. So now I've I've seen three of Rubens' games. I guess he doesn't have library this game, but he's had library in all three games that I've seen until this point. This is the first one he doesn't have him. So that's if you're watching at home, folks, which you obviously are. This is how you do well in old school tournaments: cast Library of Alexandria and use it. That's it. All type of pro tips. Yes, exactly. Uh, right so, right the, man, uh, look at all those the real flying. Uh, so he's using uh, uh, the, Mike. The, Mike is using like, like Marvel, right? like yeah. '90s yeah. era Marvel comics um, uh, collectible cards I, for uh, his uh, Tetravite like tokens. So he's got like uh, yeah. I don't know Jean Grey or whatever. <laughs> I would um, never, I've never been a comic book guy, even to this day. I don't think I've ever read a comic book. I've seen some of the movies, but as far as I'm concerned, comic books are for nerds unlike our game that's for cool people involving cardboard dragons and lions but i did still <laughs> love the marvel cards like in this was almost the 80s i feel like they came Man, out like, this. 
back back. Nine ninety. He almost went in with the uh, the hippie there too. Crack back for right. <laughs> like for nine or something. Yeah, this is a real race. Ten, ten to fifteen. It looks like yeah. Michael's at fifteen. Okay. Oh, he's at fifteen. He can crack yeah, back for uh, seven. Nine. Nine. This is this is doing nine right here. This is just a good old fashioned race. Yeah, it seems yeah, like there was, so this was a slow was game 20, to start. Yeah, they were both six. kind of no, you know, like then, building up on each no, side um, without favorable no, no, attacks, and now. Now they're just leaning into it. You got your five, right? right? And this is this is an example also of Mistress Factory, right? Two of the lands that Rubens drew are Mistress Factories. Uh, uh, Simpson has zero, was, so Rubens gets to probably win the game. Okay, okay. You know, it's kind of sometimes it's it's almost that simple. I'm sure there's been some back and forth and some various plays to get to this spot, but like, but Rubens is just winning the Mistress Factory war at this point, and he's going to get to do a bunch of extra damage and, uh, that um wouldn't have got to do otherwise. And at this point now, Simpson can't uh, really no, crack back unless he draws a trike and can actually win the game by attacking for seven and triking him. I can't really see much. So, I think but it's in, maybe there's a maybe you would. Well, yeah, because I'm wondering if I attack with oh, okay, okay. some Sorry, of those guys. Sorry, man, I thought you could jump block. What's he at like... six? So he needs. Oh, you can send them back in, right? I guess he only needs to block. He has to block yeah, two guys next out. turn, so okay, he has to at least keep back two. That saves me two damage. I guess you could. Probably attack with five guys here. One, yeah, four or five, sure. I don't know what's in Ruben's hand, how many cards are in his hand. It looks like one. It looks like he's playing off the top ish. Um, if he has a full grip, you have to probably start caring more. But if he's playing off the top, it feels safe to attack back with with four, maybe five guys even, and just, and just make him have it. Yeah, so I'll keep him separate. That's exactly what he's thinking about right now, obviously. Oh. oh no, Rubens was thinking. Okay. Still, he's thinking about whether to say go or not. Is it trike you want? Okay. He dripped trike. Seven plus three. <laughs> easy right. math, easy game. Yep. Wow. Yeah, seven. Oh yeah, yeah. Cast trike. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, for seven. You have to go the most Move my counters. Just, GGs. Just, gesticulating okay. with the strike instead of. It. This is okay. how I like to play it. I don't like to actually play the cards. If I, I show just... you this Triskelion, do I win? <laughs> You're dead. Without a trike. Okay. The problem with doing that is that he probably should have attacked yeah, no. first, just in case three you know too. Rubens had an actual swords or something. You know something. He's probably not going to swords a one one. But if he knows he has a trike, he just. Yeah, it's weird might. that he like yeah. showed showed him before. Like he, so he gave him information before. Um, I wonder if Rubens said, "Well, it's trike or no for you." Then he ripped it. You know, maybe yeah, they had right. that conversation, and we're not privy to it. And this is a close one. I mean, Rubens has not yeah, just he, scooped he it up, like so he's got. Does he have actual swords? Swords his own guy. No, they are in the stack, but I can. Swords the sedge troll uh, crack back. Guy. It's so weird that divine he offering. Maybe even one light, he wins the game, right? I'm gonna turn so the factory into a creature. I'm thinking. I mean, if he has the swords, this yeah. is an insane I'm slow roll. Turn the factory into a creature. I know. Because okay. because all clearly Simpson's going to go remove, going counter, to... remove counter, remove counter, remove counter. Two life. Or did, two. And I'm gonna he did attack, two. so he, this this strike is on a stack or what? Like what? And I'm back to four. So that is a sword. Down to one. Swords his own guy. And you don't he have goes the to one. The, Try, the counters are off. The yes. Counters. And he Try wins. He wins now. Yeah. Does he win? He's at six. He has one blocker. And oh no, he swords his own guy. So he can actually Wait, go to so one. You... Right? Because he can block actually... he can block um whatever yeah, one yeah, creature yeah, yeah, with yeah, the trike. So he can six. block the troll. Was a tree? So he'll still lose uh, even with the swords unless he rips a bolt or something. Rips a bolt and casts it off the uh, city of Brass. Disenchant disenchant would kill disenchant to kill the trike and the yeah. blocker. So he needs to rip disenchant or bolt or you know it's just or something insane. Heal. No, but it's a uh, ancestral. It's oh, okay. okay, yeah, that's that's a nice rip. Oh, this is oh, an exciting man. finish. It really is. But you got not good for the Mikester. You got yeah. The problem is he has those cities of brass. So well, yeah, but oh, there's a lot that he can do with the city of brass. Uh, yeah, he can put his damage on the stack and bolt. So bolt is much mine. better here. What is that? Trip. That's a strip mine. Okay. 
Fireball the trike for one. Fireball you for Fireball the trike wow. attack you your dad. Oh my god. Yeah, fireball the trike, yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that was insane. Well, yeah. we came into that match at the right fucking time. Yeah, no kidding. Awesome. Uh, wow. Oh, oh great, great, great end of that one. That what a race. That was hot. Yeah, like, down to the trike and like right, every, yeah. every full on back and forth. Like oh. it was it was back to back rips. You know? Oh, and yeah. into that place, Rubens had to have one of like four cards in his hand. You know? Actually, he had to have actual swords to plowshares. It was. The only yeah. was. Ancestral, uh, nice card if you can get it too, huh? Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, so like, yeah, oh my god. Like All right, so let's look at these exactly guys' decks. Needed, Simpson exactly right time. I mean, yeah. has standard shop deck. He has okay. cards he might want to play. His library and his sideboard, which is something I see shops players doing, which feels um, clinically insane to me. <laughs> um, but it's not just him. I see a lot of people doing it. Mm -hmm. Bottle sucks. Gedin's pretty sucky. Alec Barrier sucks. Disenchant sucks. Hercule sucks. Divine Offering sucks. So maybe maybe he brings in those three red blasts for, um, you know, he shaves shaves a winter orb, shaves a couple of cards. But he doesn't have a lot. Doesn't have much going on in his sideboard. I'm sure Rubens does though. I, I'll defend the. Uh... I mean, defend the library and the, the board. Uh, Shops is just a it's a deck that wants to vomit, you know, four or five permanents on turn one. Um, yeah. Certainly bring it in yeah. if you're on the draw. Um, yeah, so like the I don't know. I, I think it's not as close, or it's it's not as. Um, okay, so I played this whole game. Deck being, uh, it's it's a little yeah, closer than your. Uh, it depends yeah. also the bottom. Some shops decks yeah, play two main deck like, bottles. Oh, it makes a lot more mm -hmm. sense there uh, in the sideboard. Um, yeah, I just I love main, I I love main deck beast, bottle in shops. Same, personally. same. And I, I, I would, yeah, I'd be a lot more behind it there. I also yeah, just, yeah. just think that but, I mean, I play, something I that gets overlooked in, in old school and maybe magic oh, in general right. is that I, people I, I, have I, I, a plan. Like shops has a plan, right? They want to draw a shop. They want to play a shot mox four drop. They want to play a land and start puking all their stuff on the board. Sometimes things don't go according to plan, though. And library is just about the best thing you can be doing when your plan A doesn't come together because your plan B is arguably even better than your plan A. So I just feel like it's powerful enough and the cost is very little. It's one colored mana, which you know, probably isn't the end of the world in most shop decks. It, it, unless you're bottling hard, it's just, it feels wrong to me. Again, I, I do think, like you said, it's kind of close and I'm willing to be wrong on this one, but gun to my head, I'm playing library in my shop deck. I can tell you All that. Right. Here's another question for you. Yeah. Um, Rubens has three main deck swords to plowshares, and we just saw him literally win the game by swordsing his own guy. Yeah. Um, but he also has four divine offering in his side. Um, yeah. Are we cutting swords to bring in uh, as many divine offerings as we can? Um, I think we want it all. Um, like like so, like swords is just better than bolt, right? Yeah. So, I think we just cut bolts for those divine offerings. Like, what else is really bad in his deck? Like. Um, Juzam's really good. Juzam's insane. Sun Gear's pretty good. Specters. Draw. I don't. I don't love the hippies. Um, right. Hippie, hippies are not. They're the worst creature I think here. They're awkward to cast. They get killed by trike. They get top, tapped out at at roughly mana equity for or equality. I think, for I think that maze might come in also, um, potentially. I don't right. know. Like Fireball really isn't that good here. <laughs> maybe fireball and four bolts and maybe a couple of of uh specters go do you cut all your burn though you you completely lose your reach i mean maybe you want to keep one burn spell to tutor for yeah the um, fireball you can't really let go can you i mean I, it's not the best i kind of agree with you this simon i always want to have access to one fireball i'm fine cutting the fireball if you keep a couple bolts in. <laughs> you do you do need something um, you yeah, might need yeah. one of those cards sure like let's say he cuts four burn spells and two specters what does he bring in swords f swords four divine offerings and maze that seems fine right that's probably what i would do keep one keep one burn spell probably the fireball honestly like like bolt just doesn't do much here so I would probably mm. just keep the fireball and is so many one mana or one and two mana cards now. He has like ten one mana cards that deal with all of the draws where that shops pukes its hand onto the board. Um it's kind of like the dex way to beat shops. He doesn't have Shatterstorm, he doesn't have Flux, any of those haymakers, but he has ten one point five mana removal spells to take out six drops. Seems like enough to me. Mm. And shops is a dabbing. 
way worse in game two, obviously, because everybody brings in their hate. So that was pretty big for, for Rubens to have have it all literally that game there. Because now he only has to win one of two sideboard games. Disney movies in the other room. I, uh, I just tabbed over to the raffle. Um, there is yeah. less than an hour to go. Um, we have cracked 6K for the raffle. Um, completely insane. Um, and that means we are up over $10,000 um, for the event. This is, so thank you. That is just are, insane. Uh, I mean, these, art, these, these cards that, that have been donated, some of these altars and this stuff that's been donated are absolutely phenomenal. But for, the, for those cards to raise six grand for room to grow, it's I'm just like... It's truly a testament to the generosity of the community, right? Because like if you were if you were to sell these altars or whatever, like I'm they're awesome, they're community driven, I get it, but they don't their quote unquote value doesn't even approach anywhere near six grand. This is people right. just deep digging into their pockets to help out people in need. It's fucking awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah straight up exactly. Um right, if even if we were to auction all that stuff off, I, I right. don't think we would have yeah. not even close. This is just just mm. such a uh, so go. so perfect, such a perfect ending to this. One, two, three. Uh, absolutely um, i'm i'm just humbled by the the reception that that all of this has gotten uh, this weekend um and uh, i don't know uh, it's it's just been a real pleasure to to be able to continue to run events at least in some form this year um and uh yeah just just continue to give people things to look forward to i i've been looking forward to this for you know basically all year um and uh, i hope we're get, able to get back into uh real life events uh at some point next year yeah. Yeah, in this time one, yeah, this to be able to transform a shitty like, situation into, into into something really great this yeah. year has been uh, a yeah, really just wonderful experience so thank you and this all. was really great this felt like more of an event i know you like to make Mott lobster con lobster con with an end into a full-on weekend and experience and you've done it with the friday night events and the sunday hangs and it feels like you're doing it right now you know by having the friday night boil you're having the sunday top eight it really feels like an event and not a tournament hmm. all right so getting to the game um simpson on the play plays shop felwar burn now he has four to play a four, or, presumably. Uh, okay. It's a Suchi, not an icy. Fine. He'd probably rather have an icy there to tap that soul ring, Sorry, I think. But him whatever, him he's he's him. not going to complain about having a four uh, drop. Four. Rubens with land soul ring is also amongst his best possible starts. Uh, yeah. Uh, Followed up by his actual uh, best I'll... possible start, mind twist for three. Okay. I think at this uh, point, Simpson probably only has four cards in his hand, right? So. The one you keep to make it easier. He does have a threat on the board and most one, of the mana he needs two, to cast anything, three. so this is going to okay, be one of the least powerful mind okay. turn two mind twists for three okay. we've ever seen. So it's still one. pretty good. Yeah, it's a mind twist for two, right? Uh, you keep the, the soul ring? Okay. You keep, yeah. No, he played land, right? Four mana total? He, he played a land. Yeah, it's mind yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. He got yeah. copy. Yeah. Holy crap. He got copy, uh, copy. Wow. <laughs> So this would have been this fell feels like it would have been over because because uh, Rubens does not have any also, energy fluxes you know, or shatter storms to blow up a world of Suchis. He has to one for one. Kind of so Mike's that would have been Mike had blue man off oh, the fell war. Um, yeah, exactly. would have just been tearing through those okay. uh, those copies. Might, might be on my side. Um, man, he's still like he can still attack for six here or oh, play an action. Hundred percent. He's not. Uh, yeah. City brass. He's not finished. It's just it, no. it's a game. It's a game uh, now factory, where it would have been a blowout. Right. I'm down to forty. Attacks. I mean, attacks for six. If he plays another Steel. four here, no. Okay. That would have just been the absolute perfect follow up. Obviously. All right, and it's totally possible to rip a four. You know, after that. Well, now he's live. He has six mana. Any any crazy creature he draws at this point uh, is just getting so slammed. I'm have to mm -hmm. think here for a the problem is human is yeah, Rubens no. almost certainly has two and a half white removal spells in his hand at this point. Definitely so, in, the, in the scrub land under there to to cast him. Right. Yep. Right. <laughs> One in the chat says a Silex would be good right now. <laughs> I was do that exactly. It's great against shops. It's um. It's maybe not great out of shots. <laughs> no, I agree. It's I'll a strange learn. sideboard card, for I'll sure. The fact, the the fact that Rubens can board in, literally an answer for every single one of the threats so um, in Mike's deck. I mean, yeah, 
You don't you don't see max divine offerings um, very often. Although if we run into more top eights like this one, maybe people start running those. Hmm. Um, yeah, I was a little sad to see. So Seb Seb Celia of um, oh, Orbs yeah. Fate made top eight and dropped out, but he played a a, a version of yeah, the org deck that I've been uh, touting for a long time. To made top eight somehow, fought through five uh, shot stacks uh, with only storm. one Shatterstorm in his sideboard. When I usually <laughs> play. Three or four shatter storms and just to like flip the bird to these shop stacks. Yep. And I think it's a testament to the power of that card. He said the card did some heavy lifting for him. Shatterstorm's really, phenomenal. It can't really beat Shatterstorm. You know, it can beat mm -hmm. a flux. It can yeah. sack its Suchi, pay for its two other four fours attack, and tempo you out. Shatterstorm is just GG's most of the time. It's also yeah. good against. It was so sad when I got Seb's message. Uh, he he messaged me, me at like five this morning saying like hey man sorry i've got this family situation i can't do it i'm like no because that org deck like i know in the fourth seed oh, like seb was like set up to be the people's champion um in this top eight everyone was excited about um, about seeing that deck yeah. uh in there for sure i think maybe he felt he felt bad that he only had the one shatterstorm and he knew he was playing against will on shop so he's like <laughs> do this i'll make up some family stuff and, and that drop uh, set Rubens up. Uh, I mean, paved the way for Rubens to be here. Um, uh, uh, obviously, the, all these paths would have been would have been different. Right. Um, right. A lot of a lot of changes. Yep. So we've been ignoring the game a little bit. It looks like Simpson ripped an icy to go with um, what was his clock of Suchi, but um, Rubens had the swords to get rid of the Suchi and just just slow everything down, which is all he needs. He's so far ahead after the mind twist. He needs to just not die and slowly play, play, play the spells that he draws, and he'll win this mm -hmm. game. He does look a smidge mana starved. So, you know, killing even a disenchant mm -hmm. on that soul ring feels like big game and could mm -hmm. allow Simpson to maybe sneak out a tempo win if he could somehow pull that out. Oh, uh, and I'll attack you with the throw. But take Ruben's three, go to actually, take three, go to twenty. <laughs> yeah. Long way to go. Uh, okay. Long way to go. I yeah. have three. three, three cards on a Ruben, so it's not. It's still anyone's game. There's on, yeah, absolutely. The and the tempo slowed way down. Yep. Any either one of them can can find something that breaks the game. Yep. But for now, it's it's going to be a that soul ring is really like. I mean, what does Simpson? What does he actually have as far as removal? Let's see. I don't know how many. He has two main deck chants and two more on the board. There's no way he brought any in. He might even have taken them out. So that right. soul ring is very likely to live. Mm -hmm. I think so. Factory. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that a second factory? Yeah, second factory. Not the worst. Attack for yeah, three it's... safely here. Still thinking, right? It's still Simpson's turn. He's probably thinking about three cards. I mean, he can obviously get a free yeah, attack cards. in for three if he wants here, but maybe he has an actual spell to cast. Yeah. I wonder what uh, interest. I will tap the city brass. Nineteen. Take one. Bowar for bounce. Wow. <laughs> Uh, okay. You got zero away Ruben's whole hand. hand. He's gonna have to lose right. two of his lands, okay. but he kills the troll in his whole so hand. Uh, Feels worth it. What lands do you keep? Just yes. shop factory, right? Um, yeah. Yeah, I, I think you you have your Felwar stone. Right. Gives you enough of your your colors, right? Yeah. So you can get you blue. Right. That's the most important. Get you blue and white at this point. So you mm -hmm. definitely just keep factory. Mm -hmm. And now you're and, way. And of course, you keep the winter factory because that's the good one. And... Yeah, so that's very important in old school. Which version of the card you play? Yeah. I was wondering what card. It's oh, it's funny in old school, like when people really tank, it's usually one of a few cards. It's almost always demonic tutor. Second to that is balance, and third to that can be regrowth because it's kind of a mini tutor. Mm -hmm. But it's usually oh, one of those factory. kinds of cards mm -hmm. that when people go deep in the tank on, like I feel like eighty percent of the thinking in old school comes mm -hmm. down to demonic I tutor. Oh, he, he, he can stop. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> May I? Pretty right. good, but, but now. 
You know, Mike's Mike's got so many live Mike draws, can... right? He's got he's on six. He played that second shop. Um, yeah, pretty much anything he draws, he can cast. Speak of the Ooh. devil, this is, feels like a six. Yep. Yep. Pew pew. Mm -hmm. Does he have another divine offering? Divine offering. <laughs> wow, is it casting cost? It's casting cost, right? So he's gonna yeah. gain six. He's gonna gain six oh, unless um, he. I mean, Mike can shoot his own trike to keep Rubens from gaining six there. Yeah. Right, um, he probably did. Right, yeah. Yeah, he did. Like shoot you twice, shoot you know trike suicide. Feels like the easy play at that point. Yeah. Mm. You. I don't know why I feel like I'm rooting for the shot stack. It feels like I. You... I mean, you want to see you want to see the match go to game three. I want to see three. game three. I guess that's probably why I am. I'm trying yeah. to figure out why in my in my heart I'm like rooting yep. for him to pull a, a six here. Well, like a time should be... walk, whatever. Hey, man, it's screwed. Right. Explore. Go. I mean, if he even plays land, you know, just like draw right. a different card, go. <laughs> Actual cycle, yep. There's a world where you don't actually play that time walk. Just hold on. 100%. To it. I think we're in that world. <laughs> Keep hang on to it and, until I can do a more game breaking thing than. Right, just get. It's literally a stone nothing. Load the board with at least something, get an attack in, something. Yeah, because you're under, you're under zero pressure now. I'm not scared because um, Ruben you. doesn't play Time Twister, right? And he already played his Mind Twist. I guess he could him it away um, if you're hanging on to it, but like... Oh, he has hymns. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. But your I only mean, card, though, or... you're not even standing. Yeah, it, it's not... I don't know. Mm -hmm. You got it. You think he... Yeah, pass to you. Uh, my I've seen the three pass. divine offerings uh, at this um, point. Right? Upkeep, right, he still has all... and a swords. So we've plowed through almost half the removal. He mm -hmm. still has three different chants and probably three swords and one divine offering. So oh. I guess that's still mm -hmm. a lot. I'll tap the scrubland. What do you tap upkeep here? Scrubland over soul ring? That's the white source. Yeah. It's the him um, I talked about. Card. Yep. It's just one so, card, right? Okay. Back bottle. Bottle. Yep. Is waiting to bottle a juice yeah. on, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about that one. Maybe you just play it, right? Because of him to Torak. Yeah. Right, because you can't like kind of the opposite of time of time walk, right? You don't care much about getting your time walk hemmed when you were just gonna cycle it anyway. Right, but the getting bottle bottle, you got it. bottle at least you're keeping him from casting the yeah. Juzan. And he has to he probably has to disenchant it at some point. All yeah. you know, if he if he draws a Juzam or something. Exactly. So like yeah, stretches uh, stretches uh, yeah, artifact so... removal even thinner. Right, exactly. All right, soul ring upkeep tap. So Rubens just really has drawn mono cards and no lands, no man at this point. If if Simpson can play an actual uh, threat, you, it might just go the distance here. Mm -hmm. You just can't though. Gonna... Ah. Hmm. What's Rubens? Torak you again? <laughs> Back to you. Grass. He has. That's me. Yep. Him away the city of grass. Oh, he hemmed away one card. Okay. Uh, just the city of grass. Nothing. Yeah, this is not a showcase for the power of him to Torok, really, this <laughs> game. No. One of, the, one of the best unrestricted cards in the format. Nice. One of the best cards in the format. But Yeah, two ices is nice. Winkind. Uh, oh, the copy. Yeah. Yep. See, I don't, I'm not in love with Red Blast yeah, yeah. against shops in general. That's the best thing you can do with it generally is, is catching a copy on the stack. And he, he got lucky and managed to do it there. Yeah, I think you tap City here. That's that's um, that's your slow grindy win con. 14 uh, turn clock. Yep. Yeah, I guess the, the having the City is... Uh, Definitive win in 14 turns, you know? Mm -hmm. Exactly. It is, exactly. Yeah. Uh, the trike like is going to help, too. Like even yeah. one attack here. 
uh, is insane. He has no white mana now, um, so yeah, he's gonna have to up. Upkeep. I don't even know. Thirteen. Okay. Yeah. So he doesn't have a white removal spell right now. He also doesn't have a white mana, so he's gonna get to attack with this trike. Again, not that this would have mattered because it would have been hemmed away a million times at this point, but like, how insane is Time Walk here? Right? Right, right. Absurd. Um, tap four for CG. Mm -hmm. Right. That's, yeah, that's going to be. Because uh, Rubens does it. He only has one for one, so he's going to take four no matter what. So Have we seen is... balance out of Rubens yet? I am. Uh, no. Still, still cooking around uh, the deck. What are we? Are we just swordsing something? Yeah. So he ripped. He ripped swords right last swords. turn because he didn't the... cast it on his upkeep. Mm -hmm. so he clearly Skin. ripped swords. I guess you swords. Right. Um, you swords the trike. You have to swords the trike. Yeah. Feels so bad. I know. One I'm gonna move on. Okay. So he's yep. at five. One Suchi hit, and he's dead to the city of and Brass. That's you. Yeah, that's that'll do it. I guess he could rip I'm a, I'm a divine offering and divine oh, sorry, offering right. something with yeah. city city of brass damage on the stack, but that would be literally the case divine offering. So it feels like um, that's the last one. Yeah, exactly. How many cards do you have? Four. Four. Uh, I'll attack with the... Okay, take four. Yeah, take four, right? Okay. Uh, that's the turn. That's the turn you're dead. <laughs> like, oh, copy? Oh. Mm -hmm. Might as well mind twist for one, I guess. Yeah. Could maybe rip that divine offering. <laughs> that would be oh could you, could you imagine? Oh, yeah. Ooh. Sending your vampire That's getting you. some play though this weekend at the top tables. And, uh, I love it. I love yeah, to see that. We had Sending your vampire. Uh, yeah, you got it. We had Org, right. and then when Org uh, went out, we had Azure Drake in the top eight uh, yeah. of the tournament. So, so all right, game three. You wish, Mano. <laughs> yeah, we did it. So now I can firmly I root for Rubens <laughs> and be, be honest about it. <laughs> right. I'll, I'll be right back. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I should see. Um... Yeah, so I don't think these sideboarding the sideboard doesn't change much on the play or draw. It was interesting to see that Simpson kept in or brought in a bottle, right? Because Rubens has I guess he has four cities that he leans on relatively hard. He only has the two Juzams. So yeah, one bottle. His amount of white mana is not so high in that deck. Yeah, is that what white, it is? Let's see. Yeah, he has the four uh scrub right, lands. Just the scrub and the and the um Mox. pearl. Than yeah. The yeah. Rubens' deck is definitely one that's cheating on colored mana. You know, he's really just playing all the best cards and hoping to, like, not get Blood Mooned and hope he can draw the right mana sources. Yeah. He's cheating so hard. This is another um, testament. You can tell somebody did their due diligence when deck building when they're only playing three Mistress Factories. You know, yeah. when they only <laughs> felt like they could afford the, th they couldn't afford the fourth to make the mana work. Whenever I see three Mistress Factories in a deck, I'm fairly certain somebody put a lot of thought into their deck, and it's, it's clear that Rubens has here. Yeah. Um. But yeah, so so Rubens pulled off the turn so, two mind twist for three, three right? and it just wasn't Rubens good enough. Three, yeah. You know? yeah. He also drew a boatload of yeah. white removal for all these cards, and it just wasn't it good enough. Really Again, a testament yeah, to the power of perfect. shops. They if you get a shop out, out you only need two mana sources to, to blow your whole load. Yeah, it's so crazy. It really is. This is something like I've been saying basically since since ATL was founded. Oh, I guess when was this? A year and a half ago, maybe almost two years ago at this point. Shops was the one. Shop was the one card that I'm like, I don't know, man. It feels, <laughs> it feels like maybe it's just too good. And I felt like Shops was a smidge above the rest of the tier one decks. I, mean, I yeah. think in a world in a world where the deck doesn't so, uh, exist, it clearly oh, is. It's cut. just the best thing you could be doing against a lot of these fair decks. And, uh, yeah. Um, really again. And oh, so I don't know, dude, but so all these shop decks might incentivize more people to pick up the actual deck. And so now do we want a meta 
filled with the deck and shops, right. or would we rather maybe just neuter shops and assume people aren't going to play the deck because of the gentleman's agreement and live in like a lion bolt dib world? I don't know where we want to live. It's it's a very complicated algo that depends on a lot of things. Yeah. I'm not sure the right answer, to be honest. I'll also say it's, it, it's, yeah. Yeah, so you don't, so you're coming from Europe, you don't see, you've watched a lot of these matches now. You don't see four yeah. shops list very often. You don't see no. four him lists very often. What do you feel, given this is the first time you've, you've kind of been immersed in this? You know, what's, is, is shop standing out as the most powerful thing? Is him, like, what do you, what do you like here? I, I would have thought there would have been a mono black deck somewhere because that just seems so powerful. But yeah, other than that, yeah, shops, they, they really have yeah. been dominating as I uh, suspected well, I they I would. I've seen the mono black decks here, uh, they just get greedy, go... right? Like Ben Katz's deck in the last Reason round, one? Ruben's yeah. deck in this round, they just splash all the colors. They basically play black for him okay. and maybe Juzam and like the restricted cards, and then they, they just get greedy with their splashes. So all the mono yeah. black decks here are actually four color black decks. Yeah. I think um, Rich Sponholtz from the Hacks. Um, played mono black and went x2 yesterday so he did pretty well yeah um there were a couple right. kick kicking around yeah because right, i think the dark ritual and yeah, stuff inclusion it. would make the black decks one. just so yeah. much better and uh, yeah for, for him with him yeah yeah um yeah I, the only old school tournament i've ever actually won uh, was with mono black rack <laughs> um <laughs> yeah in, in atlantic rules of all places yeah, actual so. mono black yeah yeah no literally unpowered mono black yeah yeah. Yeah, so Dark Ritual is, like, is a hotly contested card in these lists, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, we talked about Jared Doucette on the stream yesterday. He's played, he has a lot number of good finishes with, you know, black rack decks. None of them mono black because he's, oh, he's a slave to value oh, and power yeah. as well. So he plays <laughs> all the most powerful cards. Yes, he's played, I feel like he's played zero, one, two, three, and four Dark know. Rituals in various versions here. of rack decks. He settled on two for yesterday. Say hi to Rubens. It's a, hmm. it's a close call though, right? Okay, because like Ritual Hippie or I'll Ritual Mox Juzam <laughs> into Swords feels miserable. And these decks don't have a lot of card advantage. They don't have Wheel and Time Twister and Brain Geyser. Sometimes they have Brain yeah. Geyser. They don't have a lot of power. And so getting two for one out of those decks is kind of a big deal. So, But then again, the, the speed and the burst that it can provide also is, is kind of hard to stop. So it's it's a very much a an unanswered question at this point, especially given that somebody who's as good a player in a season as Jared has literally tried all various versions of, of Dark Rituals okay, uh, at this point and is unsure where to stand one, two, and landed yeah. on two. Yeah. Sorry for messing up the layout, the layout there, Simon. <laughs> yeah, no problem. I think... I, th I actually missed what happened there. I don't know yeah, if they yeah, both yeah, mulliganed or they're both just drawing their seven, but I guess we'll find out. I think they're drawing their sevens. Okay. So Ruben's on the play, rooting for him to probably play library go here. <laughs> yeah, maybe library, maybe library, sapphire, oh. ancestral, other mocks, draw, lotus, something oh. like that. Take that. So, so Simpson yeah. did mulligan. Yeah. Did Ruben's mulligan? Rubens looks like he's thinking about his mulligan. Yeah. I'm thinking here. Okay. I'll go on around C. No, just a second. Oh, uh, there I, they go. I, oh, yeah, I'm yeah, thinking yeah. about mulligan. And I'm playing. Is Rubens on the play? Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it's kid's fault. I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. Don't, don't worry. <laughs> hey, I have an underground C in my hand. Okay. I'm not sure and if Rubens mulligan. Right? It feels like he probably did, and we yeah, must have put, missed him putting the card down. Yeah, Simpson clearly mulliganed. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna mulligan this one. Sure. Okay, so Rubens is mul so he must have mulliganed again. Oh, wait, what's going on here? Because Rubens is on the play. He should have announced his mulligan first, I guess. So I don't yeah, know. I guess yeah. it's old school, whatever. Maybe, but... maybe Mike was just yeah jumping the gun or yeah yeah. He definitely jumped, jumped the gun, showing us underground sea. <laughs> but maybe uh, right. Yeah, sometimes um, the the. The player who's on the draw just kind of doesn't right. care about giving up information. Right. You never know how that shapes really out. Hates, really hates their hand. <laughs> wants to mock. <laughs> right, right. It's like when you demonic tutor and fail to find because your whole deck sucks. Like, I don't give a shit. Just let's move on here. <laughs> yeah, so, but it's clear now that Ru so Rubens did mulligan. It looks like he's going to five on the play. Simpson kept kept it six and is, is clearly is leading with underground C. So we have a lot of information here. 
Yeah. Uh, let's go. Ruben's in a tough three. spot because Mo, he, his deck is a one to one deck. He doesn't have Flux, as we've talked about, Shatterstorm, Time Twister, right. Right. Know, two of those Eight. cards. He's 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 planning to one for one, and then Stella Mulligan really puts him at a disadvantage. I think Simpson, even though we know he's leading underground sea and not doing broken things, mm -hmm. uh, he's still a favorite at this point. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna keep this one. Maybe the underground sea was like a uh, <laughs> like, yeah, like a red a red herring. Like yeah, yeah. He actually he actually has shop mox guy. That would be amazing. I hope he does that. One it's of my like, favorite. One of my favorite plays when I used to play a little more hold'em than I did in casinos was sometimes when it goes around to you when you're in the big blind and you're supposedly not paying attention, you like muck your hand early when you're in the big blind and then you just, oh, you're like, oh, wait, I'm the blind. I'll grab okay, my hand. Well, yeah, it's, it's I always wanted to catch aces on the big blind okay. and then do that, fake muck my hand, and then have <laughs> aces hit it on the big blind when nobody puts me on anything because I fake mucked it and then just drop aces on them. And that could be maybe what Michael Simpson's doing here. God, I hope he is. I, I highly, highly doubt it. No, there's no way, but there's no way, but it is. I love yeah. stuff like that. I've always wanted to fake muck aces. Okay. You're just like a super villain looking next level people. That's that's right. the kind of stuff you do. Okay, so I'm moving to. He feels like too nice of a guy to do that. Three moxes is nice. Search through and pass. Okay, okay. But, not one wheel, card. but not wheel. Like if that's no, wheel. No wheel, no, no jet. Um, Start. Still, like, not the worst. This is like, here's my set troll. Sure. <laughs> this yeah, this is my only hope in this game. Hopefully, you don't play a 4 4 that you have oh, like yes. 18 of in your deck. All right, here's the jet. Oh, play shop, play shop, 4 yeah, 4. Uh, uh, no. <laughs> no. No. Time walk. Yep. Time walk. Shot. Time walk, draw shop. Yeah. <laughs> so, one question from the viewers Is the yeah. raffle still online, or when does it end? Uh, it ends in 25 minutes. Uh, it should be working right now. So this is your last last call for raffle tickets. One o'clock Eastern. Get in there. And I'll strip the Badlands. Yes. We will. We'll do the drawing live um, and... on the stream, uh, possibly after this match or or after the first game of the the finals. Yep. That's you. Depending on the timing. All right. So Simpson strips. He's he's. Content to just like keep Rubens off of resources while taking a little damage from this from this side goal. Rubens is at least off of double black um, because of the strip for now. Yeah, again, this is this is a thing with strip mine out of these shop stacks that, that want to build up to four mana so badly. That's a tough call, right? Like you know, taking away his only black is a huge deal, but also Simpson getting to four mana is potentially a huge deal. So, oh God. Ooh. There's another, there's another land destruction spell yeah, in the bottle. Yeah. Pretty monstrous. That's that's definitely what Simpson was hoping there. He's like, please play City of Brass, please. Mm -hmm. For two here. So now this is a big turn. If if oh, if Simpson two. can play, um, four here, a Suchi or an Icy. Uh, Suchi would Suchi, be better, Yeah, right? Suchi or an Icy for sure. Tundra. Here's four. He's got to have something. All right, so it's for the abyss. Mm -hmm. The abyss. That's yeah. the best yeah, possible yeah. four. Okay. Pretty good Again, four. we all we've been doing is talking about fours out of shop decks for the last twenty eight hours, and they always tap out for four, and we always forget about abyss, and it's always the best possible card, and it's in, it's such a haymaker. Mm -hmm. Again, yeah. it's a haymaker. This is why I was. We talked to Urbano yesterday in round one, and he was like, "I don't even like abyss. I don't even know why he plays playing two in the sideboard four. of his shop stack." I'm like. Every time I've ever cast Abyss or had it played against me or seen anyone else cast it, it was the best possible card. Yeah, it's a, it's a game warping card. And I, I just don't, I mean, he clearly take, has a different take on Trap, you know, um, with his piles and, and Abyss. Oh, I, I, I love the way Urbano thinks um, and the things that he experiments with. Um, yeah, it's very outside the box. Yeah, he's, he's, he's off the wall and, uh, and he's got a lot of really good insights. And, and, it, and it's based on experience um, and not just theory crafting, right? Like, right, he's played, he's played probably more shops than he's put in a ton of reps with with shops yeah. might be anybody honestly he might have played more old school shops than anybody on planet earth well and, and last year in the four strip mine environments shops was on a tear um, i mean shops was all over ec rules oh um, yeah especially on the west coast and like yep, you see cool. shops routinely either went taking down tournaments or you know all over the top eights of, of those four strip tournaments um and Urbano mm -hmm. was usually in the mix in those. Yeah. Like he he had a he had a really good run last year. He did. I think he won some. A couple Coast. a couple wins. Yeah, he won the, the bootleggers ball. I think on shops maybe. Two, like he uh, 
Uh, he put a number, uh, yep. put up a number of like you said, amazing finishes on shots. It went through with such a heater last year. I don't know where I stand on it in general. I know I, exactly I where I stand. I'm... It's a really good deck. <laughs> yeah, like, and if we like restricted workshops, ones, everyone yeah. would just complain uh, that I and Dib and Atog are all over the top eights and nothing else is new. So yeah, I you, um, we talked about that a little bit when you were when you left in between games. Um, but that's definitely like what happens if shops gets restricted. The meta changes a ton. Like who? It's it's like a, the unintended consequences could be could be God knows what, right? We have no idea. Well, I mean, everyone thinks that like I don't know. If you make one change, then suddenly, you know, everyone can play their current apes and their elvish archers in peace, um, and, and that's just never actually the case. Although. I would point out that Kurt Ape literally won LobsterCon last year. Ben Wagnon played Ugzu, um yeah. in Atlantic at LobsterCon, took the whole thing down. So your, your Kurt Apes are fine. Just yeah. actually have the have the courage to play them. Um, you know, run some shadow storms. Have a good day. I don't know. <laughs> I do remember that was a phase uh, yeah. when we as a community were were eschewing bottle more than we probably should have, and he caught yeah. us all at the right time. So we missed a couple of plays here. Simpson plays Ancestral, hoping to just put the nail in the coffin. But Rubens does have a red blast for it to keep any, you know, modicum of hopes alive. Uh, of hope keeps alive. He keeps running that, that factory into a tapped out mic <laughs> like every single yeah, turn. He, he's doing a little damage here. Like he's he's eking out every little, like Rubens is a good player, you know, like he's been yeah. around the block. He's from Pro Tour experience. He, um, he's not going to make many mistakes and he's yeah, eking out true. every little bit of advantage that he can. Bet you. There's a scrubland. Scrubland. Okay, saying go now because he's not attacking his factory into a, into a factory. So this is feels real close though, right? Simpson very clearly has some sixes in his hand. Um, it all it all matters how much how much removal Rubens has. Mm -hmm. At this point, but, it could be a lot though. Yeah, I mean, and Rubens has had some time to at least get some cards back in hand. Um, yeah. That's what I mean. It looks like he has four or five cards at this point, and the mana to cast them. How many times are we going to keep running? So now he's now he's representing yeah. removal for the factory. Yeah. Sorry, I'm not sure if you can still hear me, Mike. So he knows yeah. he knows what he's okay. doing. He he wants to keep him. Um, he doesn't care about losing Simpson? his factory very much. Yeah. To a potential okay. disenchant, and he wants to keep Simpson oh. off of six mana to play Thank the you. inevitable sixes in his hand. That's why he's doing this. Hmm. It's a good play. It's it's again one of those. Trixie factory plays and not at, like there's a reason he maybe attacked this turn and not mm -hmm. last turn, you know, um, and th that is the reason. But now, but so Simpson correctly didn't block, drew a mana source, is contemplating which six oh. to play. Feels like. Oh, yeah. Ruben still representing, um, you know, any of the white removal spells at this point. So if he taps out for six and gets gets killed, gets his card gets killed. Ruben's attacks for two more. He's slowly, slowly, you know, eking out, eking out an advantage here. I think he's thinking about which card Ruben's, which removal Ruben's I has. Know, I have like he, he doesn't want to get his Tetravis Divine oh. Offering here. Um, Tap he, two for Winter Orb. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Okay, or we're just way off then, as per usual. Yeah, that's not, I did not expect <laughs> to see that card at all. Um, Ruby. I don't. Uh, it's not game breaking, right? I mean, Rubens has these two moxes. Okay, right. He can keep yeah. doing yeah. what he's doing. Ruby. He's copying the mox here. Yeah. Copying. Okay. Looks like he's copying the pearl. Tap the ruby. Balance. Tap the ruby. Wheel. Fortune. Wheel. Oh God. Right. Time to wheel. Spin the okay. wheel. Okay. Rubens clearly has removal spells. He's gonna pop one off here. It's probably yeah, gotta be on on the abyss. Yeah, if he, has, if a he has a disenchant for the abyss, that's fine. He doesn't. He him? just has swords, so that was his yeah, only uh, removal spell. Wow. Yeah, he has the extra 97. abyss that he's wheeling away. Yeah. Okay. I mean, this is. I mean, the thing is, like, he's fully tapped out. Rubens is gonna have a turn to. Rubens to, to, has Rubens has a chance here to. To mind twist his life, um, yeah, do a million things. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm almost done. We'll have one soon, okay? But uh, but then if Mike and does get to untap, minutes, he can okay. do. Well, damn I don't near know. The, the Winter Orb is almost going to hurt him more than it is Rubens. There's a uh, world where he has four lands. He has four lands and three moxes. Yeah, you're right. 
Maybe you just don't play it. <laughs> that way you have more mana to do cool things post wheel. I thought I he was going to balance That's why he was spewing his so, whole hand. Uh, workshop. Shop Mox Creeper. Is that the workshop for... Shop helps with the Winter Orb. Oh no, just mm -hmm. Shop Felwar. Well, I guess now he has a shop and four artifact and mana, so the Orb isn't going to hurt him too much. Go take a burn. Cards in here now, I've got <laughs> five. Uh, Alright, so this is a huge turn from Rubens. Rubens, yeah. Yes. You play... No, you got... You have to have so now he drew a Disenchanter Divine Offering. He's thinking about what he wants oh, yeah. to do. Yeah, he's got all that yeah. stuff. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Passing the turn? Yep, end of turn. End of turn, I'm going to... Uh... Divine Offering. Divine Offering. Bottle, yeah. probably. Winter Orb. Winter Orb, sure. All right, so I guess he doesn't have... I don't have... know if I would have even bothered, like... He's got five lands that are tapped, including the Shock. It just doesn't do that much here. Yeah. He's going to need every removal spell for... Maybe he has... Well, maybe he he's... Has, like, maybe... Okay. Does he have Mind Twist? Like, no. I don't know. We're going to find out. This is a great game, though. You know, lots of back and forth. Ruben yeah. felt on the back foot after that double mulligan and first turn Sedge Troll. And, and now eight really turns later, we've wheeled and, and any, it's anybody's game. It's, anybody's yeah, game. It's for sure. You got it. May I? All right, he's Chaos Orbiting the, the obviously the Abyss, right? Because that's the second the, Abyss, so he knows he's safe. I'm not sure if you yeah. Right. Yeah, this is yeah. a big Chaos Orb. Semi-final Chaos Orb flip. Huge flip. Oof. Got it. Got yeah. Fuck it. And back to you. I don't think I've seen a missed orb flip in all these games. That's something. All right, so that was his big play. He didn't even play a land. Holy shit. He didn't even he didn't play a hit, land. He didn't he hit a chaos. source in seven cards? Right. Not a single land mocks anything. What on earth? So his hand is clearly oh. full of removal. Does Simpson play Mindless? Mm -hmm. Let's see. He must, right? I mean, who are we kidding? He's in the semifinals. Um, yeah, he does. Mindless here obviously is the full four. GG's. But, I mean, I guess it's clear he doesn't have it because he yep. would have done it already. Tap another four. So oh, I see. Tucci. You got it. Tucci. He's then down to one or two in hand now. I'll yeah. His... One factory mm -hmm. and attack. No blocks. Send in the guy. To... He's going to attack and bolt. I'm a... Attack for uh, three. I'll... I'm a 20. Ruben's waiting at, for him uh, to attack. Oh, yeah. yeah. Just okay. take it. Not, he does not have a bolt uh, because. Well, he probably took his bolts out, right? He, so. he probably took a couple bolts out at least for sure. That's why, that's why again, these these intricate factory Cartier. mind games, like that's a safe attack because he probably doesn't have bolts post board. Cartier. But I guess even if he does, it's not the end of the world at this point. But like game one, that's a totally Cartier. different attack, right? right. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Yeah, but losing losing one of his two factories with a Suchi in the IC up is not the end of the world for, but, uh, for Mike. Right. Um, the, all right, crutch uh, your. Tucci, I guess. Oh, yeah. That's probably Tucci. We want this game to go longer. We need to kill the clocks. Yep. Did Rube, did, um, did Simpson not uh, keep tap? Nor did he tap. I guess tapping right now doesn't really do much. But. Rubens has got to have another no, another disenchant or divine offering or something. Right. That's what he hit. Off. He hit a ton of those off the wheel. Wow. He literally hasn't played another source. He didn't draw a source this turn either, apparently. And I'm going to pass back to you. And I'll, yeah, All right, so two know. divine offerings. Put the man into the factories. I mean, Rubens is now sitting at 27 life and not, not worried about taking a couple hits from a factory. The question is, can Mike draw more gas at this point? I know. Rubens has a, has a whole handful of removal, clearly. Literally just a, a handful of, yeah. I mean, removal he and... Too. He, he probably has. A, could a, a, he could have a juice or something um, stuck uh, because yeah. he doesn't have double black and the city and the bottle is out. And that's the thing about the shops, though. He's gonna he's gonna rip a trike. <laughs> right. He's gonna. He already played his wheel. Let's see what else he has. What other broken things he has? He has time twister. He has ancestral. He has balance. Another relatively broken thing to do. Um. But other than that, like he's just gonna rip just guys at this point so 
I still think this is surprisingly yeah, close, given all of the permanents that, that Simpson has on the board. So all activate one factory and attack. No blocks. Five minutes left on the raffle. Yeah, no blocks. Attack with one factory. Okay, I'll uh, pump it once. I'm not, doing pump. Anything. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Does he have an actual three drop? What does he have? Does he have time I'll twister? Do a chaos orb. Yep. Oh, chaos orb. So and... that's a three drop. All right. Do you do you chaos orb something right now, or do you say go? I think I would say go. I'm probably wrong and probably. You've already minority. seen the two. Um, I mean, do you chaos orb the scrubland or something? Yeah, yeah. that's what I mean. Keep, keep him away from the black, and also keep him away from white. That that seems like the best opportunity. It's, he was like tapped out. Yeah, how many I mean, he's already. I think you're you're safer because he's already yeah. he's already cast three divine offerings or something. Okay. Um, God, he draws so many divine offerings. Yeah. yeah I mean, it helps to bringing four in from the board but he's he's had four on the top like in the top half of his deck both games right the top like yeah. 15 18 cards of this deck yeah. yeah so yeah i don't know chaos orbing there i i'm just too timid of a chaos orber i think i would not do it i'll try to but... uh swords the two okay. so he's gonna blow this on the trike right at this point um... do you do you want to maybe gain four i don't know do you gain four or do you pop if you're if you're mike i think you do actually Right? What I is that? What is that? Three damage getting you? Oh, He's at twenty-four. Twenty-four. Here you go. Yep. What he did? He gained four. Okay. Play a sedge troll and pass. That's a sedge troll. So I'm now you can. Blast the sedge troll. Okay. Boom. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah, dude. That's pretty nice. You could also chaos orb the troll. I guess you can't because he might just play land there, and you can't respond to a land. You could have chaos orb the troll. I'll uh, Chaos Orb your Scrubland. Oh, you know what Rubens probably has in his hand is actual Cities of Brass, right? Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. A couple probably of those. <laughs> how, many, how many does he run? Uh, Four. He, he leans on City of Brass extremely hard. Uh, yeah, for the white mana, yeah. Yeah, you, you, hate, you hate to see it. We already got the white. We don't have any black. We don't really need black. If Simpson has a threat yeah. now. <laughs> but it's safe. As if that bottle were such an issue, maybe he would have prioritized killing that over the icy, for example. I don't know. I mean, maybe he's just like, I don't care. I'm gonna. Oh, he went. Over, he went after the factory and not the scrub. Right. So now, now he's just slowly turning his clock on. It's the tech un unfettered oh. four turn. He's at, it says a five turn clock. You got two cards in hand, Mike? Uh, two. Yeah, I, I mean, it feels... Gonna... You couldn't block with that Balance. factory anyway. Like, there we go. Balance one to, down to one land. It doesn't <laughs> help the... Okay. That's pretty funny. Yeah. So, uh, so it's going to kill all of his cards, because I think land. Simpson only has one so card in his hand. But... Going down to one land is, wow. is kind of cool. Basically guess, resetting the game. I mean, but he just keeps the shop and then rips. Factory. You have you have four other mana, right? Just keep factory, I think. Keep factory, ride it for a while. I don't know. It would be so important. Yeah, he does need to keep the shop. That's right. Not sure. Uh, um, he can still hear me, man. He's got Mox, 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 Felwar. Uh, right? He doesn't yeah, have... Yeah, he already has five mana. Like, if he draws a four, okay, he can play it. He'll eventually draw another land for his sixes. Ugh, I feel like... Does he have one or two I cards don't, in his hand? I don't. <laughs> two, uh, it looks like. Yeah, mm. man, balance is so good. Um, looks like he's a little laggy, right? Is I he laggy? He's, yeah. Either not animating or he's is still a statue. <laughs> you think he throws entirely? I see him moving a little bit, like every five seconds, we get a fast forward into what he's doing. Um, but he's definitely extremely laggy at this point. Oh, I'm still just. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, as long as the old. I I just. on the stream too. 
I'm listening to him and he's in the tank. Um, yeah. So. So I'm uh. Okay. So I'm gonna keep everything. What's he in the tank about? Not everything. Like he he's he's the one that. Well, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> everything. He just picks but... his one land, picks his factory. Ruben's is the one that has to discard the weird number of cards. Yeah. Maybe he has a disenchant in his hand he could cast. I don't know, but I think that's also a pretty easy play. He's trying to determine which land to, to keep. Um, he's just asking how many swords Ruben's used. Okay. Yeah, and only one. I've only seen one. Trying to decide if it's safe to keep his factory around. Essentially, I think. Yeah. I think this is a, this is a pretty easy factory keep. I I don't know what he's going to do, but I mean, I, I would do it ten times out of ten. All the way at the bottom of the ocean in the tank. <laughs> Yeah, interesting game, turns out. Yeah. yeah, this is a nice third game, actually. Yeah, so, so. Uh, I kept the workshop. Yeah, that wheel out. really okay, spiced everything. He's going to keep the shop. Wow. Can I see yeah. your hands throw I two cards. Okay, I see nothing going on right now. Not in love with but this. I'm, I'm really not in love okay. with this. Uh, good. Um, just I'd love to be proven wrong. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Discard Although, I, to be fair, I'm rooting against shops, right? So, I take it back. I love this. I love this. Okay. I'm just gonna ask Mike to refresh. Um, yeah, maybe just log out and log back. Hey, in. Mike, would you, would you mind, mind refreshing, refreshing your browser? browser? Uh, just, just come back in. We're, we're you're, you're freezing up a little bit for us. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. We're gonna have a, a secondary, uh, uh, just a quick uh, disruption to the the layout here, but he'll be right back. Sorry. Let us know in the chat what land do you keep. Shop, factory. Oh, uh, you're in frozen at least. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're good. Thank you. Okay. And, uh, you have two cards in hand. I'm passing back to you. Oh, great. Uh, tap four for soaring. All right, we're back in the room. All right, so we kept shop. Balance resolves. And back to you. Rubens played a factory that he drew. See, and so Simpson drew Soul Ring, which oh. is exactly the reason why I think you don't keep shop. Well, You're I'm inevitably going to draw a you. sixth mana. Yeah, you've got right? your six. You're fine. You we'll already have five. Mind, Mind twist two feels two. pretty awesome. It feels slightly more awesome if he had a Mitra's factory in play. Mm -hmm. I mean, Mind Twist hits us uh, an Arabian card, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's got to be. It's got to be a city. Oh no, he already discarded to balance. What did he discard? We didn't see how many city of brasses he discarded to his to his balance. I'm gonna divine offer. Spawn, the the smash the, the bottle. Uh, city I in a guess bottle. right. I mean, might as well. Go to twenty-two. Uh, either that or the soul ring, I guess. If you if you need to use it right now. Nice. He's stuck on. Yeah, he's stuck on one black, uh, so he can't cast a hippie. Yep. Good. It's tough. And he's going to get to attack. Like, Rubens is going to attack him now. This you is know? amazing. Wouldn't have gotten to attack if that, if that shop was a factory. This is, this is amazing. Oh, he's just going to pass? Uh, pass to you. Ow. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Also, good Back play black. from earlier in gaining four life from that. The Juzam. There it is. Wow. The bottle. He kills this divine offerings of the bottle in response. Right on. To the mind Thank twist you, and then rips Juzam. Yeah. Rubens is just on fucking He's, fire. He must be very good at magic to, to right. draw these cards. Right. <laughs> draw those cards in that order. Yeah, yeah. I, I was between the city. Uh, and... Like if he draws Juzam them the other way, this game might just be over, right? If he discards the Juzam yeah, and then absolutely. draws the other attack for seven. Attack. Return clock. Yeah, soon, honey. Daddy's about to lose. Uh, attacking here. Oh, Mike's kid is <laughs> Mike's kid is interfering <laughs> with the match. Now yeah. we're in trouble. Daddy's is about to lose. <laughs> that is no, oh wow. my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, Rubens, wow. like I, I'm curious oh, what he just did. Oh man! Oh kid! It's insane! I thought I was lost. That is I, so I unhappy right now. When you have the abyss, and, uh, wow. I mean, not if, if, that, abyss, if that if that, was, if that was, factory was, were in play, he takes wow. it. No, the the seven, factory, nine, right? The out. factory. Yeah, um, yeah, holy smoke! So four workshop decks yeah, enter the top eight. How, how long um, to only one, one of them advances to the semis. Zero workshop decks in the final. It was insane. Rubens punches his ticket. You want to talk to them for a sec? Um. Yeah. 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 Hold on. I gotta. 
I'm gonna change some settings. New pad. Yeah, see, like, and I wasn't gonna get New anything. Simpson. Yeah. Was gonna get a bunch of... We're hearing but... you, man. Guys, that was insane. <laughs> this was interesting, right? <laughs> Go back and forth. Ruben double mulligans, spews his whole hand for a turn one sedge troll. That's all he really has. Um, I think the, the one of the most interesting things there is, is you drew half of your deck, Rubens, and you drew like six or seven mana sources the whole time. You know? Yeah, but I needed the second black. I could have uh, him to Torak him like many, many times. He was down to three cards, two cards, yeah. four cards, and I was just passing back and I was sweating here. Where is the. Yeah. You know? And I, I was picturing in my mind that I was going to start top decking the cities uh, of brass. So we, we figured your hand was full of city of brasses after that no. wheel. It was no. full of gas that I couldn't cast. Because <laughs> he was stuck on one black. Yeah, it was all yeah. hippies, hippies and yeah. hippie thorax. Yeah, I, I noticed he was on the one black and I was like, ugh. Yeah, that was a tough, tough that. decision, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was, um, I mean, again, another a great way to end the semifinal. We've seen some great matches today. Tons of back and forth. Um, quintessential old school cards being being played. Haymakers back and forth. Just awesome magic all around. You guys, that was that was a wonderful match to watch. We appreciate it. Yeah, hmm. yeah thanks so much thanks, for the coverage, thanks, guys. Man. This is a great yeah. tournament. Rubens, oh, go get him, buddy. Pleasure. Yeah, thanks. Mike, thank, thanks a lot for being a part of this, and congrats on making it uh, this far. This is oh, a great so much. show. Yeah, it's, this has been a blast. It's been a lot of fun <laughs> Great to hear. You know, parenting yeah. with Disney because <laughs> <laughs> yeah a lot, some, of, a lot of fathers of, yeah, yeah, a lot of fathers of the year on this stream job. for sure <laughs> right on uh, well yeah thanks right. so much guys yeah awesome of course right. thank you nice guys all right we'll see you see you soon rubens okay i'll leave